Hello everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Paper Crafting Playdate. My name is Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps and you are joining me for episode 63. Today is July 8th, 2022 and it's Friday in my world. But whenever you are watching this, whether you're watching it live with me now or you are catching this on the replay later on YouTube. I'm so excited that you're here and I'm honored that you're going to spend some time with me in my craft room today. So I have a new card template for us to play with and I'm super excited to show it to you. So let's get started. I'm going to flip the camera around. And now we have my stamp table. All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you again for joining me. Let's get this camera situated and then we'll get started. I have some happy mail to show you. Okay, let's move this over a little bit here. Okay, looks pretty good. How is everybody doing on this Friday? What do you have planned? How's your week been? Give me some indication of what's going on with you because I would love to hear about it. I am just pulling you up here. There we go. And turning that down and I wanna see your comments and see who's here. All right. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Anne. Hi, Faye. Nydia and Liz. Oh, I'm so glad you're all here. Hi, Carol and Polly and Sarah and Laura and Susie. Awesome. Great. You want to see some fun cards that I've gotten in the mail this week? You guys, you just spoil me so much when you send me your creations. I am giddy <laughs> when I get cards in the mail. Hi, Lynn. All right, so this card is from uh, Cindy. She is one of my butterfly friends in my team and she used this month's paper pumpkin. How cute is this? I haven't made this kit yet. I think I say that every time. It's adorable, very summery. I love it. I am so thankful and Cindy, thank you for your message. Hi, Andrea. All right, this card is so pretty. So it has a stenciled background, that cute little ladybug. I love this. This is also from one of my um, Butterfly Friend Teams member, members, Anne. And I love this cute little size too. This is a great little note card size, but I love the stenciling, Anne. So pretty. And this is from Judy. She, I love this. She's put put the little sea turtle on there and she's got sea turtle wisdom. Travel at your own pace, stay calm under pressure, trust the flow, be comfortable in your own shell. Enjoy time alone, keep moving forward. I love all that. I'm gonna do all that stuff this weekend, I hope. That's my plan. All right, this is from um, Nureta and she used last week's paper crafting play date um, technique with painter's tape. And um, she created this fun, little, bright, happy card using all those in colors. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Thank you so very much for those happy mails. Okay, we have a card template today. This is card template number 11. So if you are brand new watching, I try to about once a month um, have a card layout that you can use in your stamping. And so this is number 11, which means there's 10 other card templates that are on my website, reallyrobinstamps.com. Um, you can download them for free and you get all of the instructions on how to make the template, right? And the, the thing about templates, let me push that off to the side just a little bit. 
think I'm going to raise this up just a little bit, give us lots of room here. The thing that's great about having a template in your back pocket is when you sit down to stamp, then you can just, you know, follow the recipe to put together the card. And usually what it means is you don't have to think too awfully hard about what you're doing. So to me, it's really useful to have um, patterns and templates for when like you know you need to go craft right you need some downtime you need to relax and you want to craft but you're brain dead <laughs> or you're tired or you're just uninspired and so it's really great to have go-to things um, that you can just like pull out pull out whatever you have in your stash and try to just start creating with them okay so this is today's card template and I'm calling it the classic tag layout and so it's going to feature a tag. So let me show you the pieces here. So you've got your regular card base which is five and a half um, by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. All right and you're going to have two pieces of pattern paper. So one is going to be two inches by four and three fourths and you want this piece to be kind of your busy piece. So when you're looking at a package of um, designer series paper, there's always different, at least if, if with Stampin' Up! paper, there's always different patterns and things that coordinate together. And there's always a couple pieces that have like all the colors in, um, that are in that pack of paper, like kind of all together. Um, I always call that like the, you know, the uh, the star piece or whatever the the that's the one piece that like coordinates all the other pieces together. So if you can find something like that that has like all the colors in it for this piece, it'll help pull everything together. Then you're gonna need a piece that's four inches by one inches, and that's gonna go across here. And this piece should be a coordinating pattern, but one that's a little simpler so that they go together. Okay, and then you need a tag. And so I've been using mostly my um, tailor-made tags, and I've been using the two bigger tags, which are these two right here. And these are approximately two inches by four inches. So I'm going to show you how to make your own tag if you don't have that. Um, but that's kind of what I'm going to start with. So here is my tag. And uh, so the picture shows a two inch by four inch piece but when you cut it with the die, it's just slightly smaller. And then you need some kind of little um, focal point here that can be really any shape or size. All right, so let's put this together. I actually need to make a baby card today, and I, I don't get to make those very often, so I'm using the Happy Forest Designer Series paper because that's the closest thing I have. <laughs> hi Penny, hi Sherry, hi Judy. This is the closest thing I have to like, you know, baby stuff, I guess. So I'm gonna use this little bundle right here. My roommate from college, one of my bestie friends, she, uh, her daughter's being induced today. She is going to be a grandma, hopefully, by the time the day is done. And she's the first one, like, in my friend group who's becoming a grandma. So that's kind of exciting. So this card's for her. So if we look at our template again, so this piece right here, you just want to set that along the right-hand side and leave a margin. It's about three-eighths of an inch, um, but you don't need to measure it. Just make sure that it's even around those three sides, top, bottom, and right. And then this piece goes up one inch from the bottom, and you just center it so that you've got about an eighth inch on each side okay so the tag's going to get layered here and kind of pull everything together but let's stamp on this first and i have my colors out i've got basic gray and smoky slate and blushing bride because she is expecting a girl so we'll see we'll see if the doctors are right and we're gonna put this slow pink bear on our tag in Blushing Bride. 
Isn't that cute? And then we'll take this little tag and we'll stamp our Hello Baby. on our tag. And now we'll assemble it. I like how the bear's like waving. It looks like he's saying hello. So we're gonna pop the tag up with our dimensionals. And we're gonna put uh, some ribbon in here. So I have this gray granite, even though I'm using smoky slate, this gray granite looks really pretty with this color combination. And when you go to put, I don't know if you make tags often, you need about three to five inches. Fold your ribbon in half. And the part that is folded is what goes in to the hole and you want to go from front to back and then you bring the loop back up and you stick your ends in and if you do it this way you'll always get that nice little knot on the front it'll look right it doesn't look bad if you do it the other way but this one always gives you that really beautiful nice finished look all right, so I'll trim that in a minute, but let's get that on. So when you put your tag on, you want it to overlap this piece and you want it to just slightly overlap this piece, kind of centered, but not really. It's a little bit more towards the bottom. It depends on the size of your tag. And then this little guy is going to be popped up on one side but then attached to the tag on the other. So you need like one dimensional. And I don't wanna cover up his tail. That's okay, we'll do that. So this little accent right here is kinda of gonna go where all of these things meet. So somewhere about right there. So let's trim our ribbon. Cute, easy, right? And let's just add a little bit of ribbon on the smaller tag. So this piece right here, this can be any size, any shape, just as long as it, you know, kind of just makes the right accent, whatever you are working with. So we're just gonna put a little tiny ribbon right there and we'll use a glue dot. Okay, so. This is our basic template. And I'm gonna show you some ways that you can change it around, step it up, and all that good stuff. So, hope you're comfy and you're going to uh, <laughs> relax, all right, while you're watching this video. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. Now, I didn't plan to put any um, any embellishments on there, but I sure think it needs some. So let's find just the right thing. Let's pull out these heart pearls. Since it's a baby card, we're just going to get it very cute. And they're kind of white, so it's going to pull that white in. Let's take the little bit larger heart. And then we'll put a smaller one there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's done. Easy, right? 
So the tag, Andrea, is a die set. It's called Tailored Made, Tailor Made Tags. You get eight different tags with different um, edges on them. So I'm using this one here. Uh, no, I'm using this one here. And this size, these I'm using the larger um, two sizes, is what's great for this layout. But don't worry if you don't have the tags because I'm gonna show you how you can do it without too. All right, so then I, so if you don't know me well, um, one of the things that I like to do when I have a template or a design or a pattern is I like to prove it. <laughs> yes, it's still available. Um, I like to prove it by uh, making it over and over again. All right, so I took the Hues of Happiness and I created this one with the design. So the tag, you know, typically when we think of tags, we think of, you know, gifts, right? We put a gift on there, but tags can really just be like the, um, the focal point where you can just decorate them. And that's kind of mostly what I'm doing with them um, with on this layout. Here is on page 175 of the annual catalog, the tailor-made tags. That set of dies is $22. Okay, and then I took the Lovely in Linen designer series paper and I created this one. Very simple. So here is something you can do different. I took a third piece of pattern paper and I just covered the whole front of the card with a third coordinating pattern. But do you see how this one's the busy piece in both of these? That's the busy, this is the less busy. So you can really make it, make it your own. And then I wanted to play with this paper because I hadn't played with it for a while. And I came up with this one. And so on this one, I just stepped it up by putting the background of that die. So this is the True Beauty bundle that coordinates with this paper. And it comes with this fun little lattice die. And that's what you're seeing on the background there. Isn't that fun? All right, so you can see I've got different shapes that go in this spot. So it really doesn't matter what shape you put here. Um, you just, that's kind of where you can put your greeting. Okay, so let's make it again. And let's use one of the new bundles from the new mini catalog. This just started last week. And I'll show you where I'm at in this catalog. I'm on page 65. So this is the suite. Um, called Splendid Day, and there's a stamp set and die set and some ribbon and some trinkets and then this gorgeous foiled paper. So let's make one with this beautiful paper. I don't know if you can see this, but one side of all the paper is foiled and embossed. So the paper is foiled and it's got this raised embossing on it. It's very pretty, nice soft colors. It's great color. <laughs> Seller. <laughs> it's a great summer color combination. And we're going to put this together using one of the um, celebration free items that you can get. All right, so this catalog just started last week too. How many of you have taken advantage of celebration already? I know some of you have. Um, so celebration happens twice a year. It's July and August, um, so like I said, started last week. Everything in here is free with an order, so you can purchase whatever you want. Every time you hit $50, you can pick one of these items for free, 
And then there's a few in here that are like mega sets or bundles. And let me show you this other one, this one right here. This one's free with a $100 uh, purchase. So you get a whole pack of paper and the stamp set that coordinates together. I know this has been really popular, but I wanted to try and use um, these, this freebie right here. It's pool party and soft sea foam cards and envelopes. You get 20 of them. Look at these fun envelopes. And I can get these cards out here. You get um, you get 10 of each. You get this soft sea foam and you get this pool party and they're already printed with this beautiful pattern. So we're going to use the soft sea foam and we're gonna put this template on one of these pre-made cards because it's so cute. All right, so let's put these pieces together so that they don't run away. And then I'm gonna show you what you can do. Let's say you don't have, um, you don't have any tag dies and you still wanna make this template. So that's not a problem. You can make your own tag in a lot of different ways. So I'm gonna put this beautiful shiny foiled piece that's fresh freesia. Then we're going to put silver this way. Okay, so if you don't have a tag, you can make your own. So let's take some of the images that are in here and we'll create our own. tag. I guess let's just do that first before I stamp on it. So if you want to create your own tag, there are there are tag punches. In fact, too much to my dismay, <laughs> uh, I didn't purchase this before this video. This would have been really, really helpful, but there's a brand new um, trio punch called Very Best Trio Punch on page 68 of the mini, and you get, this is a tiny picture of it, but you get two sides that make these great corners. One of them's gonna do exactly what I'm just showing you here you can do by hand. And then one of them punches a nice little slot for your tag. So this is um, an option that you can get and you can do all kinds of things with, um, but making tags is one of them. It is bundled with this great greeting set, but you can also purchase it um, separately. Again, I'm not sure why I don't have it yet, but I haven't ordered everything. All right, so if you wanna make your own tag, all you do is snip off one corner at an angle, and then you take that piece, flip it over, and you definitely wanna flip it over, so you just turn it upside down and put it right there, and just hold it exactly where it should be in the corner, square, and then you cut the other side. And then you've got exact um, corners that match. They're gonna be exactly the same. And then you can just take a regular hole punch and punch a hole. And then you've got your own tag, just like that. So let's decorate our tag. So I'm gonna use this great outline stamp. And I'm gonna just put it like that. This stamp set's pretty fun because it's it's kind of unassuming when you look at it. You might think, well, that doesn't seem like, like, I don't know. It's very like whimsical kind of leaves, but you have these great distressed little images too. So I'm gonna stamp off once on this solid leaf. It doesn't line up because it's, like I said, it's just kind of whimsical. So I'm gonna just stamp it kind of on top, but look how it looks, how it's filled in like that. And it's a little bit lighter because I stamped it off on the scratch paper. I think that's really cool. And then we'll take our eucalyptus-like leaf. We'll just 
just make a little collage here. And then we'll take these little dots. Again, they don't line up, but when you stamp them like that, you just kind of get a little subtle fill in and it looks, it looks really cool. Okay, so there's our tag. And so for my little shape for the greeting, I'm gonna use this fun little half circle that comes with this die set. And we'll just put that right there. It'll kind of look like we've got some plants. And then I'm gonna, I cut out a couple of these leaves that don't coordinate with the stamp images. They're just different little, little leaves. And I did one in another little foil. So that one for sure is gonna go there. And maybe we'll do this white one too. I don't know that it needs it. So let's pop up the tag. Actually, let's put our ribbon on. So remember the loop goes in first from front to back. And then you put the ends through that. I like to just keep mine attached to the roll. This is new ribbon that goes with the suite called Soft Sea Foam. Okay, now we can pop it up. Okay, that's pretty cute. All right, so we'll put our greeting here. And one of the greetings says, sending hugs. I love that. And again, you pop up one side of it, the side that hits the card, and then the side that goes onto the tag, you add a little glue. So you've got like that. And then we're gonna just stick this underneath. So this foil is kind of like a rose gold, so pretty. If you like foiled papers, you'll enjoy this pack a lot. And then we'll add this one kind of behind there. Like that. Okay, so if you don't have tag dies, don't worry. You can make your own not a problem. Okay, that's crooked. Let's move that. There we go. Whoops. Oh my goodness. My finger was sticky and just pulled those right out. Okay, slow down and let it dry. There we go. And we'll just put a couple of our little brush freesia accents down there. Okay, what do you think of that? We've got this nice little coordinating envelope. So think about some of the dies that you might have. Let's say you have this stitched rectangle dies. This one's very popular, it's been around for a while. This particular one right here, this makes a great shaped tag about the same size as what we're using. Um, and you don't have to turn it into a tag. You can just leave it as the rectangle. So I used um, this perfectly penciled designer series paper. And I used just squares. So really you can like, you can put any shape there, okay? Now here I swapped it, so so far I've been just decorating the tag and putting the greeting here, but you don't have to do that. You can swap it, you can put your greeting on the tag and then decorate that little focal point and that just becomes an accent, right? 
And if you uh, look closely, just to make this a little bit more interesting, since there's so much black and white going on here, I adhered these two pieces of pattern paper to a trimmed black um, quarter, and then I ran that through an embossing folder before I mounted it onto the card front. That way, it, there's more contrast between this and then what the focal point is, right? So you can always like think outside of the box. Now this is a new die set called Deckled, Deckled Rectangles, I think. It doesn't quite have a long, a long one, but this would be a great shape that you could use for this template as well. This makes a fun little, um, uh, the edge on this is really fun. And so that would be a good option for a tag too. So there's lots of things you can do if you don't have the tailor-made tags. All right, so now, now that you've kind of seen the basic design, we're gonna step it up. Are you ready? Let me switch boxes here. Okay, let's put these aside for a second. What did I miss here? Yes, Nydia, yeah, it is a, it's a different, when you start playing with this, um, Nydia says that she's discovering her favorite kind of stamps that are more like whimsical, kind of like this. And it, it is very appealing at first when you look at it, you're like, that doesn't look like anything. <laughs> but then when you start to play with it, you realize it's, um, it's, it has its own little style. Okay, so we're gonna put together a stepped up card and I am using one of the celebration papers that you can get for free. Let's see, here it is, Rings of Love, 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is a fun little watercolor looking patterns on these papers. So here is one side of all of these. And then here is the other side. So you've got all different fun little um, designs. And I'm pairing it with the gingham cottage paper. I'm not I'm not one with these catalogs yet. I will be, but I'm not one. So page 59, so I'll just show you where it's at in case you wanna look it up. So here's the Gingham Cottage 12 by 12. This is a huge pack of paper. Um, you get 48 sheets. It's great for backgrounds. So here are all of the Gingham patterns. You can see front and back. Like, my head kind of explodes when I see all this. I'm like, oh my goodness, not only do I love gingham, but these are great basic colors. So you could think about adding, you know, throughout the next six months <laughs> when you're celebrating fall and um, Thanksgiving and um, the holidays and come around to Valentine's Day. I mean, you've just got so many great Halloween um, colors. Uh, my brilliant friend, Sue Sheets, she uh, <clears throat> demonstrated at our meeting last week, we had a little team meeting, and she realized that these two packs of paper really coordinate together very well. So I'm making this one a little bit different by just putting that whole piece on and covering the front. So I'm just gonna put a nice little subtle pattern in the background. And then we'll use our little busy pattern right here. And then we'll use a coordinating design right here. A 
I'll show you what I mean. So Sue kind of figured out, she, if you look at the colors in this Rings of Love, you can see that there are very similar shades in the gingham. And so because these are like busy patterns and these are just simple patterns, it goes together really well. And I made a whole set of cards I can't wait to show you, but let me show you this uh, stepped up card first. So what we're gonna do with our tag on this card is we're gonna use a brand new um, bundle. It's called Celebrate with Tags. And it is also in the mini catalog. on page 67. So you've got kind of all occasion pieces here, and then you have a set of dies that makes two different kinds of tags and then has all this extra stuff. So you've got um, some stitch shaped, you've got banners, you've got candles, all kinds of things. And then you've got two die, um, dies that make double-sided tags. So let's take a moment here and we'll bring in Mrs. Cut Boss and let's make a navy tag for our card. And one of the dies that comes is this nice little stitched uh, rectangle so that you can make a window in your tag. So I'm gonna put that right there. Look how fun this is. So now you've got this window. And it's perfect for making a little shaker tag, which is what we're gonna do. But I think there's probably all kinds of other things you can do with it. And I'm just, I have just started playing with it, so I'm just scratching the surface here. But let's go ahead and put Put it together and let it start to dry. All right, so to make a shaker, you have to have something that has a little bit of room in it, right? And because we have a window, we have to put a piece of acetate behind the window so that we can see what we're gonna have shake, right? So let's add this piece of acetate and I just cut it just a little bit bigger I think these are called window sheets in the catalog. So that's gonna go behind the window. And then on the insides that so that I can see behind my shaker stuff, we're gonna put this piece of white. So let's decorate that. So I'm going to bring in this new stamp set, Ringed with Nature. It has a great greeting. Love and warmth, isn't that sweet? And then I'm going to take Let's see, Poppy Parade. I should probably do the stems first. That would be smart. We're gonna two-step stamp here a little flower so it'll coordinate with our paper. 
So remember our paper here is nice and busy. So I'm kind of trying to rework these little flowers right here and put that inside the shaker card. And then we'll take our flowers. Okay, so we're going to put this together and then we're going to let it dry. So I'm going to seal up all around there. Close my ink pads. So we have a set of Um, sequins. This is new in the catalog. You get three all together. So you've got just some basic colors. And these blues and greens match our card really, really well. So let's add a pinch of the green and a pinch of the blue. These are so fun. There's all kinds. You can pull these out individually to use. There's little ones, big ones. There's half pearls. Um, there's little like shimmery sequins. Okay. Let me make sure I have glue everywhere. And now we're going to close this up. I'm just gonna let that sit for a minute, hopefully. We'll get that closed. Okay. All right, while we're letting that finish drying, I wanna show you one more thing that comes with this, um, this bundle here. Ringed with Nature has um, all these fun dies. It goes with, you know, this kind of coordinates with that ringed in love paper. And it is bundled together with a hybrid embossing folder. And we haven't used one of those for a while, so I thought it would be fun to show you how that works. So. A hybrid embossing folder is one that um, embosses and cuts at the same time. So you have a die that actually goes into the folder. So here are, is the die. And not only is it going to cut out all those beautiful little tree rings, it will emboss them too. So this is going to be our accent instead of putting a different kind of shape, this is what's going to be our accent. So this is soft suede. So I don't need this. If you don't use this, you will just get a nice, um, background that has tree rings in it. So you've got lots of options when you have a hybrid folder. So now I've got all these fun little tree rings. I'm going to use this little one. All right, let's see if we got this. Looks pretty good. This twine is new. Oh my goodness, there's so many new things. This is called um, 
I don't know, silver tw twin t twine. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, it's very rustic looking. It goes great with this suite. I went ahead and just kind of peeled it apart and it's really easy to do with your take your pick tool. You just take the the pointy end, which of course I can't find it right now, and you just kind of pull it apart, but it has these nice little silver um, fibers in it, so it's very pretty. Okay, this one's coming together. So let's finish this up. Yep, I've done one card too many because now I can't find my dimensionals. Excuse me for a second here. Let's Find some new dimensionals. Okay. It's pretty fun, right? like that give these a little trim okay so this one we've stepped up quite a bit by using a different kind of tag um, that has the little shaker feature which is pretty fun Be a nice little housewarming card, birthday card. All right, so take a look at these dies. Quite impressed with them, quite honestly. And I feel like I just, just figured them out. So here is another one, like we just made, but for Christmas with the the mitten. So you get this little snowflake in there. You've got this nice little banner, the bee jolly. You can do so much with this. So there's that. And here is one that could be for, for Valentine's Day or whatever. So this one is, I just did a single tag. And then here is another Christmas one. So you don't have to make a double tag with this. You can just get two tags at once. Um, if you cut this in half and take off these little edges, you really just get two tags. So you can make a simple actual tag like for a gift. But then I also played around with the pieces so that you could see what you could do just to make some cards. Um, with the dies and the greetings that came in this stamp set. So you might overlook something like this in the catalog, which I tend to do. And I tried to, when I picked out what I was going to get from the mini, I tried to like think outside of the box, like what, you know, what could I do differently? So here are those fun little candles. And so this little tag for a gift is fun that it folds because then you can put your message on the inside. So I can't wait to play with this bundle more. This is super fun, um, but hopefully this will be like blowing your mind a little bit thinking about um, what you could do with this, but it also works for our template today, right?
Okay, let me clean up this mess. I have one more little stepped up version to show you. Oh my goodness, I forgot to show you these. Okay, so again, I told you my friend Sue, um, she's Sushi Stamps, um, if you wanna look her up. She's the one that pointed out how well these pad papers um, coordinate with each other. So I just very quickly made a set of very simple cards and I used one of each. So I've got one of six different of the papers that come in that ringed with love and I paired it with the gingham cottage paper. And instead of doing any decorating on the tag, I just let the paper um, make the tag pretty and then just put a simple greeting there. And instead of using patterned paper, used an embossed piece of cardstock. So these came together really quickly. It's a great way to like give a gift um, with a set of cards. And once you have the pattern, you can just whip them all together super easily. So thank you, Sue, uh, for putting these together. I think that's just brilliant. Okie dokie. All right, you guys have a favorite so far? So the last thing that we're gonna do, so here's our card base that I have started, is we're going to use another new die set. And this one is on page 172, it's called Mini Pocket Envelope. So I thought, well, I haven't played with this yet. This is a brand new die set to this catalog. And I love pockets, I love journals and things like that, scrapbooking, so um, I intended to use it that way, but when I saw this template and kind of came up with the design, I thought, well, let's see if we can put this onto a card as well. So let's cut this out. So I'm gonna take a piece of the pretty tea boutique paper. So this already is scored. So you literally just have to fold it on the score lines. Look how nicely that little mitered corner comes together. Oh my goodness, that's just delightful. Straight, and then you just glue it together. With pattern paper, then of course you get to see both sides like that when they coordinate, so beautiful. And so I just picked, since this is the busy pattern, I picked some uh, more subtle patterns to put in the background. Isn't that cute pocket? Today was the first day I used it and I'm pretty jazzed about it, to be honest. I think we're gonna be able to do a lot of fun things with this because as I'm gonna show you, this fits a gift card, right? So this is a great little die to have um, 
you know, just to make a, a nice little gift card pocket. And then, um, like I said, I just played with it today for the first time, so I haven't even really, um, I don't know what this does. I really don't know what that does either. So I have, to, I have a lot of, I have a lot of homework to do. But I did use this little scalloped square, which is nice because these little edges are scalloped on here. And so that was the, um, the little accent piece here that I picked out. But I already put a little dimensional on there to add that to the card. Like that. Of course, you could add a hole and add, you know, some ribbon to that. I'm just going to keep this one really simple and showcase the, the pocket aspect of that. Um, but of course you would get a coordinating gift card and not one for Christmas, but look how perfectly that fits the little um, gift card in there. And so you would be able to, you know, give this um, as a gift and you have a little gift card on the outside. Of course you could put it on the inside. Oh my goodness, so many ideas. Like my head, my head was like, ah, I wanna keep playing with this. Let's add some accents here. So these are, this is Starry Sky and the new Sweet Sorbet. Fresh Freesia, and here's that parakeet. So let's, let's add some of these fun little accents here. Like that. All right, so this is the, um, I guess, other stepped up version is to make a little gift card holder on the front. Whew! What do you think? I made one more like this. I used the new um, Halloween paper. But I just kind of made it kind of generic because it's the paper is very nice and generic. doesn't even have to be for Halloween because there's nothing Halloween-y about it except that it's black and white. So this is on page 55. Oh, and here is the showcase of some little candies with, didn't even see that, how perfect, um, colored on that paper, how pretty. So I did one in the black and white and gray just to kind of make a nice little like, oh, this is just such a nice, um, little vibrant thing. Instead of a gift card, I just put a little little bookmark in there. So I made a smaller tag to put in there. So you could put all kinds of little things in that pocket. And that is fun, fun, fun. Okay. My goal is always to um, help you think of things that you have in your stash and how you can use them right away. So I hope this card template here kind of gives you some ideas. And you can go and grab your, um, you know, your pattern paper that you have and start cutting it up into these shapes and you'll be surprised how you'll be able to um, just put a, something together very, very easily. I would love to hear which one was your favorite, if you have one, or what are you going to try first? Um, and what, you know, I showed you a lot of new stuff. So if there was something new that you saw, something you're kind of excited about, let's have a conversation about these cards as always. I love it, love it when you um, like the video and you share the videos that I do. It, it just um, humbles me. I'm always so grateful and thankful for all the time you spend with me. So my challenge, try this template and I will have the, um, the PDFs 
online as usual. So follow those links or go to my website and happy card making everyone. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye.